Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall see how to check the transaction history using the YONO SBI app. So if you are also an account holder in SBI bank and you want to check the transaction details, then you can just use your YONO SBI app without the need to check the internet banking or visit your branch physically. It's a very useful app. So if you have not downloaded it already, then you can Open up your app store or the play store and then just look for SBI YONO. There are two versions of this app. One is light version which is very light on the data. So which means if your mobile has a very slow internet then you can download and use the YONO light version. Otherwise you can use the complete or the normal version of YONO SBI. So this is the app that I'm talking about. You can download it and you can set it up by referring to my other videos. The link to those videos are in the description of this video. So you can open up those videos and learn how to set up your YONO SBI app. Now once you have set up the YONO SBI app, all you need to do is just open up your app and then you will have to log in into the app. So I'll just quickly do that. Now once you have logged in into your app, this will be your dashboard or the home page. Now since you are looking to check the transaction history, you can just tap here on this accounts icon. Alright. Then here we have different tabs for different purpose. Like the first one is my balance which is for the balance. If you have multiple bank account in different branches then those accounts will be displayed here. Since I have only one account so there is only one account. Then the second one is my deposits which shows any fixed deposit or the uh, recurring deposit that you have with the bank the third tab is the my borrowings which shows any loan any pending loan that you have with the bank then we have the my investment under which you can create a portfolio and then you can invest in mutual fund or you can open up nps account if you don't have it if you have it then you can make the nps contribution from this app in the same way we have the insurance using which you can buy a new policy from SBI. There are various different policies that you can uh, go through and then uh, look for one policy that you want to buy. In the same way then we have my credit cards where the details of your credit card will be displayed. So in the same way you can go through all of the tabs but since we are looking to download the transaction history so I'll just tap here on my account. Now here we have to tap on the account of which you want to see the transaction history since I have only one account so I'm just going to tap on this one alright now here you can see the account description the currency the mode of operation rate of interest and then here you can see we have the second tab as transaction we have to tap on transaction now on the transaction you can see all the transactions that have occurred in your account these are the latest or the last 10 transactions now if you want to see more transactions then you can tap here on this filter icon and then you can change the filter either you can see the last 10 transaction or for one month three months six months or by date let's say i want to see the transaction of last three month so i'll just tap here now the transaction of the last of the last three months is displayed here now either i can download this transaction history from this icon and you can see the PDF has been downloaded successfully and the, the password to this PDF is a set of 9 characters. The first 4 is going to be the date of birth then at symbol and then after that the last 4 digits of mobile. And then there is one example also displayed here. So this is how you are going to uh, open the PDF which is going to contain the last 3 months of transaction history. I'll just tap here on OK. So let me open up the pdf and uh, you can see this is the transaction history of three month so it has all the details account name number address description of the account interest rate cif number ifs code micr code and then after that you can go through all the transactions and if you want you can share this transaction history with someone else or if you want to email it that also you can do it from here so this was the transaction history for three months now let's say you want to see the transaction history for particular dates so i'll just tap here on this filter by drop down menu then i'll just tap here by date 
now let's say i want to check the transaction history starting from 15th december up till 13th so from here i'll just make it december 2023 and let's say i'll just make it 15 and this is the from date and the to date can be today's date like this i'll just make it 13 so in this way we can choose particular dates of which we want to see the transaction and then you can either download this transaction history or you can just mail it right away from here by tapping on this icon and you can see the mail has been sent to your registered email id in case if your email id is not registered with the sbi then you can do that using your internet banking or using your you know sbi app you just have to get into the profile details Otherwise, you can just download the transaction history right away from this icon and then email it to any email that you want. So that's all for this video. I hope you were able to understand how to download and check the transaction history using the Yono SBI app. So don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.